Hi everybody, it's me, G1 Writer with G1 Insights, and I just wanted to briefly talk to you about something I felt really, really intriguing, right? And I'm G1 Writer with G1 Insights, for those of you who don't know me, <laughs> okay? So, um, just get in when you fit in that, drop a comment below if this is your first time, okay? So, I, I just wanted to talk about why is it that a lot of us can be hated without a cause, right? I mean, I know that there's got to be a reason, right? But I spoke about this many times on social media, like Facebook and Twitter and so forth. But I just wanted to drop it here really quickly, okay? People kill me, okay? First of all, you got the type of people that are, like, just jealous for no reason. Like, they don't even know you. They just hate you. They just hate you just because. Like, it could be your smile. It could be your personality. It could be the way you dress, right? But then they'll look at you like you're disgusting or you're a disease, right? Like, they'll just look at you like they can't stand you. They just don't like you. I'm not talking about those type of people. They don't even matter. They're not a factor in my book because you don't even know me. So I already know <laughs> your reason for hating me. You're jealous. It got to be jealousy. If it's not, then it just simply means that you got a mental issue. Something could be wrong or off in your head somewhere. Okay? Or maybe nobody ever told you that they love you. But long story short, that's neither here nor there. Right? I'm not talking about those type of people. I'm talking about the type of two individuals or the two people. Right? I'll say that. It's two different types of people. One people, the one set of people is... The ones that just come around just to see if you are still happy. Yes, I said it. The ones that come around just to see if you are still happy. To see if you're doing bad. And if you are doing bad, they want to know how bad, right? So they come around just to see how terrible you are doing. Or they'll even come around to see if you're doing better than they are, right? Like, yes, those type of people. It Oh, it irks my nerve. Okay, because they don't get it. They don't get you. And I'm going to explain all this, right? So they come around just to see how bad you are doing, how sad you are, how depressed you are, right? And they never come around with a purpose or to offer you anything or to give you any type of laughter or joy. And when I say give you anything, I don't mean just financially. I mean come around just to put a smile on my face or come around just because I'm your friend and you just want to bring me good comfort, right? Those type of people, right? Or if you're family, you know, be family. Come around, let's cook out or let's have a good moment, right? But don't come around just to see how terrible I'm doing or if I am happy, you want to see if I'm happier than you. Yes, I am happy. You know why? Because I don't live my life doing that. So that makes me totally happy, okay? The next set of people do this. They won't come around at all. They don't call you, no matter how good or bad you doing, right? This is the trick to this part. The ones that who come, don't come around at all, they will either not come around when you're doing bad. They only either come around when you're doing good, in fact. They'll come around when you are doing good, just so it, you they can, like, eat off of you, so they can benefit of you, right? So they can take advantage of you, so they can even possibly manipulate you, right? And then you got those type of people that do that, right? Or they'll come around and, or they won't come around at all um, because they feel like nothing benefits them at all. Like, so, and even if they did, again, the jealousy kicks in. So they come up with thousands of reasons of why they are not there or why they won't come around or why they won't party with you or why they can't celebrate your good times. They have a thousand reasons of why they can't be there to support you. They have a thousand reasons why. And it's not because they are always that fucking busy. No, they are not always that busy, okay? They won't come around because they can't stand the sight of you being so happy, right? Yes, those type of people. And I know you guys can relate, those type of people. They won't come around because your happiness overwhelms them. They can't stand it. They can't stand the fact that you are smiling from ear to ear, okay? These are the type of people that can't even say congratulations, thank you, or, you know, I'm so glad to be your friend, or I'm so glad that we are, have a great bond, right? And this could even be for those of you that are in relationships with these type of people. Yeah, they only want you to be happy if they're happy. And again, mm, they will either choose to not be around you because you're too happy and they don't want that because they're so toxic and negative that it really rubs off on them the wrong way and they don't like that. Or they will not want you to be too happy because they don't want you to be more happier than they are. 
So you got to understand these two types of different people. And I hope I broke this down clear enough, okay? The ones who just come around to see how terrible you are doing and the ones who come around to celebrate you. Know the difference, okay? Know the difference between when someone is not coming around, okay? Because I think I'd rather have you come around me when I'm happy than to come around me when I'm sad. Because I'm a tough girl. I can handle whatever it is that I'm going through. So I'd rather you come around me when I'm feeling my best. So that way I can serve you my best. And I can give you the best of me. Don't come around me when I'm sad. And if you do come around me when I'm sad, take time to uplift me. Right? Don't come around me just to watch and see how bad I am doing. That's not going to work. Don't do that. And these type of people will never admit to you whether they are really truly sad and that you're going through this. Even if they do mention that, you still got to watch those type of people. Because you will know. Because, again, they only come around in the midst of your struggle. And for some people, they might see that as, oh, well, they're being there for me. Yeah, whatever. That's like 10% of the people, okay? 10% of out of 100 of people will actually come around when you're going through something to actually be there for your moral support and to really try to uplift you and to be inspiring to you. Only a select few. The majority of the rest of the people only come around when you're sad and depressed or going through something just so they can witness it, so they can run and tell and gossip about how bad you are doing. Okay, and then you got the ones that will do both. They'll come around when you're sad. They'll come around when you're happy. That is how you'll know the difference. But if you notice that you recently had a, a shift in your life, no matter what it is, you had a brand new baby, you just got a new car, you got a new career, you got married, whatever that huge, huge accomplishment was, right? Just watch. <laughs> just watch the energy of those around you. You're going to either be hated without a cause or you will be highly supported and lifted and loved and people will celebrate you. They don't care how far you are, where you are. If they can't be near you, then they will most certainly call you and say congratulations. They will most certainly call you and ask you how you're doing, whether it's only once a month, whether it is every few weeks or so. These people will come and check on you. You don't have to be the one to always chase them and always try to please them and always try to find yourself to be the peacemaker or always trying to find yourself to be the one that's spreading love and light. No. If these people are clearly giving you signs that they are jealous of you, stay away from those type of people. You can still be kind. You can still be generous. You can still say hello. How you doing? Right? You can still do that. But stay away from those type of people that are jealous with jealous of you or hate you without a cause. They hate you. Okay? And they don't just hate you for any reason, honey. They, you got the type of people out there that just, they just don't get it. They don't understand you. They don't understand your happiness. They don't understand that even in the midst of your distress, you can still come out smiling. Because these are the same type of people that they don't understand. They, they don't understand the concept of how is it that he or she just went through all of this and they still have a smile on their face? How can they be going through the fire as we speak and still be happy? See, these people thought that you were going to be so stressed out and so depressed, but what they forgot is that you are also blessed and highly favored. So no matter what it is that you are going through, they thought that you were going to quit. They thought that you would give up. They thought that you would fail, that you would not make it. They thought that you would be in distraught and be devastated for the rest of your life. Again, like I said, you got people that will celebrate that. They can't wait to see you in distress, okay? And so that is the moment where you got to release all of that and let those things go, okay? So I'm G1 Writer with G1 Insights. Drop a comment below and let me know what you're thinking.